go out and type, type exactly what I'm typing. I want you to type in. I want you to type off. I want you to type, uh, yeah, just end and off, and then O equals zero, okay? That way we're all on the same page, okay? Once you type in, off, and O equals zero, the thing should not be running any downloaded program in case any one of you decided to run one. I'm, I'm sorry, did you that? Yeah, just as I typed it up here. N, D, N, D, all uppercase, off, O, F, F, and then O, that is an uppercase O, by the way, equals zero. So just look at what I typed up there. And uh, then over in your polling window, if you've got it up, it should be <coughs> position is zero, position error is zero, velocity is zero. If you do not see load is position, don't worry about it. We'll get there in a second. Okay? And if you don't have temperature voltage up there, I'll load it up here. Mark them out. Okay? Let's talk about the motor in general for a moment. It is a closed loop servo. It does have an encoder inside the back of it that it closes the loop on, okay? It can run in a few different modes of operation. Let's get to the basic modes, okay? Out of the box, it defaults to position mode, which is considered PMP mode position, okay? All the mode commands start with M, and then they're followed with a letter that indicates what mode of operation it's gonna be in. NP is position mode where you either can go to a relative or an absolute position, okay? And V is velocity mode, okay? Now all of these are in that command shortcut list you've got in your, your thing. So you can write this down or you can reference it on that command list, okay? Okay, so P for position mode, MP for velocity mode, MT for torque mode, okay? And those are the main ones I'm gonna talk about right now. There's also gearing and camming, but we're not gonna mess with them. So these are the main three I wanna talk about right now, okay? Position and velocity mode are both closed loop. They look at the encoder. How many of you here uh, <coughs> are uh, familiar with variable frequency drives? Okay. Variable frequency drive is something that runs at a given frequency. Okay? That's a velocity. Okay? Typical velocity control systems <coughs> look at the frequency of speed and try to maintain that frequency. We don't. Okay? When we run in velocity mode, we're actually running in position over time. Well, the definition of velocity <coughs> is position over time. But the difference here is that since we're running truly a position loop for velocity mode, if we fall behind in speed for a moment, we'll actually overspeed and go beyond that speed to catch up to where we should have been. Okay? For example, if I tell it to excel up to some speed and then maintain that speed for a moment, and let's just say it's a conveyor, okay? We're running a conveyor, and let's just say it's, I don't care, a bucket of sand, and you're filling up sand on the bucket. And every time you fill up one more bucket of sand, it, it slows down for a moment. Well, what's gonna happen is it'll catch up, PID algorithm will pop into place, and it'll actually surpass that speed for a moment and then get back to where it should have been. The area below the line and above the line are always equal, okay? Understand that. The amount of time that area below the, the line and above the line always come out equal. Okay? To give you a better example, let's just say we have two conveyors. Here's one conveyor, here's another one. Okay? This conveyor is running along and has a bucket right here. This one has a bucket right here. And they're buzzing along and finally this bucket gets up here. But this one was filled up for a moment and had more sand dumped in this bucket. It falls behind for a moment. But you know what? it's going to speed up to catch up until it's back in sync with the other one, okay? Because it's actually positioned over time and not velocity. So is it going to speed up at the uh, said program acceleration, or is it going to speed up as a function of the PID? At the function of the PID, very good question on that. It does not speed up at the acceleration rate. It speeds up at how the PID values were set. Can you okay? At a gain offset by position error. If you set types of game values, it's going to try to